Well, Tom Burke is chairman of E3G, an environmental think tank. He joins us now from London. Good to have you on the programme, uh, Mr Burke. How do you think the coronavirus is impacting Earth Hour this year? Not just, I'm, I'm not talking just because people are going online rather than getting together, but I guess the way we, we look at the whole thing. Well, I think this is an enormous uh, shock to the way we think about ourselves in the world. And it's a real reminder of how important it is for us to uh, work with each other to deal with things. It's giving us a, a, a real sense that there are no borders anymore, that much as it is with environmental pollution, with uh, climate change, we really do all live in the same planet. And I think that that change in the way we feel about the world will go on for quite a long time after we've got over the immediate health impact and even perhaps when we've gone beyond the economic consequences. I guess that's a positive. Is it also a reminder, I guess, of, of how humans or what humans are doing to the planet and what happens when we all just stay home? Well, we've seen very clearly whether you look at the fact that the canals in Venice are cleaner or whether you look at the fact that for parents with asthma, the air their children breathe is much cleaner. There are lots of, as it were, accidental benefits coming out of this. But this really isn't the way to learn that we need to take care of the environment. Hopefully, when the economy recovers, we won't make the mistakes we made in the first place, that we really will learn the lessons from this uh, 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 shock. Uh, and do a much better job, which is technically possible to do in terms of managing the impact we have on all of those life systems we depend on for our prosperity and security. I guess, if anything, it's shown us how many jobs can be done from home. Um, people have been saying that we should be treating climate change with the same urgency with which the world is treating the coronavirus outbreak. What are your thoughts? I think that's very hard to do because the coronavirus is very immediate. It really catches your attention. And, and the, the danger with climate change is it's, while it might have much more significant impact on our lives, even than the virus, it's a much slower burn. So it's much harder to mobilize our uh, uh, effort, as it were, in that same kind of way. That makes it more important that we learn those basic lessons about cooperating with each other, about listening to experts, and about the role that governments can play when they put their mind to it. And those are all lessons we're learning from this about how important those lessons are. And dealing with climate change really means we can't forget any of them. Has Earth Hour uh, actually driven any sort of legislative change? I think that the uh, what's become really clear, especially with climate change, is the public has got very anxious about what we're doing to our environment. We saw it also with plastics in the ocean. And we, that has really resulted in uh, change. And of course, that anxiety is reflected to people through programs like Earth Hour, through uh, the print media, through the social media challenges. That's how we're aware of what we are doing to the planet. And that has begun to make a real difference. It's not making a difference fast enough. That's a real problem. Thank you for that. Uh, that's Tom Burke there, chairman of E3G and Environmental Think Tank. Thank you. Thank you.